Python is a great programming language, but it's slow. Imagine a programming language that is not a twice faster as Python, not three times faster than Python, but 35,000 times faster than Python. Mojo is a fantastic programming language that combines the, the simplicity of Python with the power of C and the speed of Rust and Nim, making it another expression for the word perfection. Rather, it comes from a company founded by Chris Latner, the creator of Swift programming language and the LLVM compiler toolchain. In this video, I'm going to explain why this programming language is the most likely to become trendy in the future and companies will likely hire many Mojo developers. We will explore the feature of this beautiful language and provide setup guide on how to start writing your Mojo code today. Mojo features the first feature we will talk about is that Mojo is very similar to Python. It has designed as an inclusive set of the Python language, which means it contains features and concepts that are identical to the Python. This makes the process of learning and translating to Mojo easy for those who have prior experience in the Python. Moreover, Mojo goes step forward by offering the capability to import Python libraries such as NumPy for example. But let's talk about the difference now. Mojo is not just an exact copy of Python, it's standalone and powerful programming language. It borrows some ideas from other languages like Rust and C++ and combines them with a Pythonic framework. This makes it very unique. Next feature we should discuss is the reliability of Mojo source. It's not a side project or just experimentation, it is a project supervised and developed by the expert Chris Latner. He is the person who created Swift programming language and the LLVM toolchain. Having someone with such an experience and proven track record in programming languages development make us completely confident with what's coming. And here comes the most exciting feature, Mojo Ability Harness Hardware Power. With Mojo you can leverage the power and performance of a graphics processing units GPUs, without the need to deal with CODA specifics. This means you can achieve outstanding performance in competitionally tasks. Here is the real difference between Mojo and Python, strict typing and low-level memory features. While you can use dynamic typing for variables in Mojo like in Python, it also supports strict and constant variable declarations. This makes the language more efficient and you can specify types precisely for performance. There are more exciting features in Mojo like support for pointers and the ability to call C functions in the integrate with Mojo. It is a programming language that impresses the present and looks toward to the future. Now, let's talk about the most exciting part, which is Mojo performance. Here we have matrix multiplication demo that showcase the remarkable performance enhance with Mojo. Initially, it computes dot product illustrate the outstanding speed gains. First, we benchmark basic Python function by importing this code into Mojo without any modification. We achieve execution speed that are 14 times faster. But we are just beginning this journey. And the next step, now we optimizing with Mojo Stracts. We can further optimize the code by adding types to the Python implementation. Mojo has this built-in struct keyword. A struct closely represents Python class, but it's static. Unlike dynamic classes within the struct, we also use keywords like var and let to define mutable and immutable variables. 
Additionally, div is replaced with fn, denoting a straight type for function. Notice the utilization of a single instruction, multiple data, simd, which is represents a vector. This allows a single instruction operation across multiple elements in a parallel on the underlying hardware. Bunch marking with structs after incorporating this struct into a Python implementation, we punch mark the code again. This time we achieve markable 500 times faster performance post querying a vector with inner loop. But we are not satisfied yet. The inner loop we can query the vector with instead of hard coding it resulting a 1000 time performance again linear algebra is ideal for parallel computing and mojo allow us to easily make our code multi-threaded with its built-in parallelized function this takes our speed post to 2000 time faster to further enhance performance, Mojo provides a built-in tilling utilities. These utilities enable us efficiency cache and reuse data and can even auto-tune performance for optimal hardware performance. The ultimate outcome is over 4000 times faster execution compared to the original Python code that is the performance just possible by the Mojo. Now, Setting up the mojo, I've seen the documentation, to be honest, it's not very clear about how to set the mojo, let's begin. Now I will do this tutorial for Windows users, because Windows is the most common operating system, sadly. First, install VS Code, if you don't have it already, which is kind of IDE. Second, install the WSL extension to enable integration with Windows subsystem for Linux. Third, install the Mojo extension for VS Code. This extension will enhance your Mojo development experience. And now, install a Ponto LTS from the Microsoft Store. This Linux distribution will serve as your development environment. Installing the modular CLI and Mojo SDK by putting this in the terminal of Linux LTS. And now, install the Mojo SDK by writing this configure environment variables by putting this. And now, congratulations, you have successfully downloaded and set up Mojo. Note, you might have some problem while you're trying to install it. Just make sure your internet is very fast and everything gonna work, trust me. Now, writing and running Mojo code. There are two ways to write and run Mojo code, using the ripple or running Mojo file. If you wanna use the ripple, simply just write Mojo and you can test something very simple like print hello world, as you can sense like it's the same of Python code, okay? And then click enter, enter, and congratulations, it's just as easy as that. But if you wanna create a file and run it, it's very easy. Just go to your terminal, make directory, mk dir mojo, it's just for making a directory. And cd that directory, touch example.mojo. Or you can touch example.fire icon i'm not joking these guys are crazy open the folder by writing code space dot and then congratulations now you can write your file i will create just this simple function for example fn main print hello world and to run your file simply mojo example dot mojo and that's gonna run the file congratulations you have created and drawn mojo code Enjoy exploring the world of major programming and now I will let you have fun with tutorial hell while trying to learn this beautiful new language. And now, thank you so much for watching till the end. Till the next time, stay curious and stay glitchy.